emails, go to talk at LarsLarson.com. Uh, the shootings that happened uh, in El Paso and, and uh, Dayton, Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio, uh, were terribly disturbing. Is terrible loss of life. But uh, the game immediately begins after that for the mainstream media to find some way that they can connect those shootings to uh, conservatives in general, and if they can, Donald Trump in particular. I'm so glad to see Ann Coulter's latest column, and she joins me now, uh, that, that really debunks this whole notion. Ann, welcome back. You. Good to be here. Um, so, well, I think a lot of people have done the general debunking, as I also think I did last week. What what I noticed, and I was waiting for this week to to unveil it, um, is that yeah, okay, the primary motivating cause of of this guy Patrick Crucius, he was the El Paso shooter, um, was that he said, "I'm I'm defending my 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 state of Texas from an Hispanic invasion." So, okay, one is the the ethnic boasting about his own ethnic group, and part two of that is um, demanding territory for for his ethnic group, although he didn't really play up his ethnic group that much. And so I quoted the chauvinistic boasting about my uncles and my family. We, we belong here. It is part of my manifest destiny. We've made this country better. And then, of course, no, that actually isn't from the El Paso shooter. That's from an immigrant writing in the Washington Post a few weeks ago, um, claiming America as his own and going on about how peachy Indians are, Indian um, from the country, India. Um, then we have uh, the in, in, an enormous number of the Chicano professors throughout America for 50 years and illegal aliens and elected officials in California um, making these Reconquista claims that, that they own um, the entire American Southwest, pretty far up, may, may even be up to Oregon, because they claim that is the area the Aztecs controlled at one point, and Mexicans, they say, are descended from the Aztecs. I don't know why any one would want to be the, the descended from the Aztecs. If you read about, if you read about their their human <laughs> sacrifice, their enthusiasm for it, whoa! It's a good thing the Spanish wiped out that culture. Um, in any event, um, the 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 lesson I am drawing for, from all of this is. Um, yeah, oh, immigrants, they make our country so much more diverse and vibrant. Well, okay, but one thing Americans are learning from immigrants is, one, to boast about your own ethnic group nonstop, and two, to demand territory for your particular ethnic group, which is something I noticed the New York Times and, and the rest of the media doesn't mind at all as long as it's coming from any group other than Americans. Um, so, I don't know, is that a hate crime, or is it only a hate crime when Americans do it? Um, but this is, I mean, it, it reminds me of um, a famous quote, I've probably used it on your radio show before, the former president of Indonesia, when he was president, he was asked, why have you cut off all immigration? This was like 20 years ago. And he said, the problem with a diverse society, multicultural society, I think he said, is that when you have lots of different ethnic groups, people stop voting their economic interests. They don't vote their social interests. They start voting their ethnic group. Well, okay, that's what we're learning from our from our immigrants. Those are the lessons the El Paso shooter um, drew from 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 the you know multicultural diversity in America. You don't hear white people going around you know boasting about our race and saying it's our country. Um, yeah, we don't want illegal. Immigrants, we'd like a pause on all immigration, but it has nothing to do with um, some sort of ethnic chauvinism here. No, in fact, if it, if and when it does, because I'm old enough to remember this, northern Idaho becomes some white sanctuary, and there's a bunch of people up there saying, we want only white people up here, and you would see the New York Times decrying that idea, saying, well, how dare you do that? And yet, when it's done by Hispanics, when it's done by Black Americans, etc., it's somehow celebrating their, you know, their their uh, racial heritage. Well, hold on a second. Which one is it? Is it okay, right. or is it okay for everyone, or is it only okay for certain racial and ethnic groups? In which case, it's a racial, it's a racist policy. It's okay for uh, Black and Hispanic citizens to do it. It's not okay if white citizens do it. Well, is that how we're going to run things now? 
It apparently is. I mean, it was. I got extensive quotes from. Of course, they're all professors. I'm sure that will not come as a, a shocking surprise to anyone listening to your radio show. All professors, the Hispanic professors, the Indian professor, um, you know, boasting in in the in the Los Angeles Times, boasting in in the New York Times about how fantastic, how peachy their ethnic group is, and how really this country belongs to them, and and this country owes them. Um, well, you know, they're 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 giving these quotes to the New York Times and 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 Washington Post and L.A. Times from their cushy offices on university campuses, not from a jail cell where they have been put um, on charges of committing a hate crime. So, so what is it, Washington Post, New York Times, L.A. Times? Is it a hate crime or isn't it to number one boast about your ethnic group and demand territory in this country for your ethnic group and your ethnic group alone? Well, I like the fact that no, you pointed out that names like Navarro and Rodriguez descended from the Spanish. So those were, well, to use some of the nation of Atzlan's language, which I've been talking about for uh, at least, I think, as long as you have. uh, They say this land belongs to the bronze people, not the European invaders. And I'm thinking, well, if 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 uh, the Spanish conquistadors who came in and raped their way through what is now Mexico were not European invaders, then what were they? Maybe I've misunderstood my map of Europe. <laughs> no, exactly right. All of these Chicano professors claiming claiming the Southwest for Mexico, um, they have names like Rodriguez and Navarro. Yeah, okay, so the one thing we know about these guys is that, that they are descended from the Spanish conquistador rapists. And, in fact, they, the, the language that's used by groups like the Nation of Atzlan is that you must give it back to the bronze people. So it's entirely couched in, in terms that are race-based. So, uh, you know, I, I, yes. I, I mean, and all of this nonsense is what we're inheriting because of America's, you know, drive toward this multiculturalism. I've got no problem with, you know, I, I have lots of neighbors that are from lots of different places on Earth. My next-door neighbor is from China, and he's very proud that he's achieved a lot here, but he didn't show up and say, I demand that you give me something because my ancestors built your railroads or something. No, it's pretty much just the media and the universities, and it's, it's, I mean, the bottom line is they hate America. <laughs> that that is what ultimately is being promoted. No, let's bring in anybody, but you know, you gross Americans. Have, I mean, the elites, having spent the last few decades um, just destroying the American middle class and working class, now their objective is now let's turn them into figures of hate, so we won't feel so guilty. And of course, they could ignore what was going on in Dayton, where a fan of Elizabeth Warren and uh, otherwise lefty had decided to shoot the place up. They just say, well, let's put that one aside, and we'll just focus on El Paso for now because it's so politically convenient and uh, it did have the side benefit of uh, putting Beto O'Rourke back in his home state for a while. And it's a pleasure to have you on. Ann Coulter is the author most recently of Resistance is Futile and In Trump We Trust and she writes a great column every week. We appreciate you coming on.